Lilliput HT5S. This is going to be very similar to the HT7S, except this is a 5.5 inch display. The HT5S weighs just 10.7 ounces or 303 grams, so it's super light, very easy to mount on your camera or even a gimbal. It has a 1920 by 1080 display with 2000 nits of brightness. It has both HDMI 2.0 input and output and also 3G SDI input and output. It can be powered by the NP-F batteries or the included wall adapter. Real quick in the box we have the monitor itself, a wall adapter, a ball head mount, a LAN cable for controlling compatible cameras, an HDMI to micro HDMI cable, an Allen wrench, a quarter 20 screw, and a thumb drive for loading your own LUTs onto the monitor. On top of the monitor we have the power button which doubles as a lock screen button, an input select button for switching between SDI and the HDMI, an FN shortcut button which comes preset to focus peaking. On the side we have a headphone input and I'd like to mention this also does have a built-in speaker. Below that the SDI input and output and the DC input for powering using the included wall adapter. On the other side we have the HDMI input and output, a USB for loading LUTs, and a lamp cable control port. Unfortunately, my GH5 is not compatible with the LAMP control function. On the bottom, we have a quarter 20 for mounting, and on the back, a NP-F battery plate. So by swiping down on the screen, it will pull up the menu. You can see all the menus there. To make it go away, you just go ahead and swipe again. There is a shortcut menu. If you swipe, swipe from uh, left to right like that, and it'll pull up like your brightness, contrast, saturation, tint, uh, backlight, and volume, and just swipe that down like that. And there's also a, if you go over here to this side of the screen, you can run this down and up to adjust the backlight like that. And this side, this does have built-in speakers, will control the volume. So at any time that you'd like, you can lock the screen just by pushing the power button and it will lock the screen. And to unlock it, you just push the power button again. So we'll just go through some of the menus here. So we'll swipe down and we have waveform. You have a lot of different waveforms to choose from. You can even do full screen mode and kind of just go through some of these. Histogram, vector scope. Let me go to full screen here, turn that off. And then you have a multi waveform option. So you can turn on a um, variety of them at once and you have a lot of different choices here for, for that. And I'm just gonna go ahead, turn these back off and we'll go through here. This is for your peaking. And for peaking, let me go ahead and turn that on. You can choose between red, green, blue, white, and you can also adjust the, um, the amount right there. So you can go through, adjust the amount. I'll go ahead and turn that off. Now this monitor does come uh, pre-programmed with the shortcut button to turn on and off peaking. You just touch the FN button and you can see all the peaking there and then you can push that again to turn that off. So we'll go on here, we have exposure and false color. Let's run through that real quick. Okay, and then for exposure, we can turn that on and now you can kind of see the lines here. On the window saying overexposed. I'll go back into here. I'll turn that off. And with this monitor, you can load the LUTs into there. You do need a 
um, a Windows PC to convert the LUTs to plug into the monitor uh, with the included um, thumb drive. But I'll just kind of go through here. You have user LUTs, gamma, HDR, color space, and then the calibration. And then we have the aspect markers. So you do 16 by nine, 185 by one, 235, one. So you got the grid, you put a grid on there. I'll turn that back off. And here we have the other shortcut um, for the contrast, saturation, tint, things like that. Okay, and then we have the aspect. So this will actually, if you want to shoot um, 16 by nine, anamorphic lenses, uh, HV delay, freeze, flip image. So volume, show your level meters, audio channel. And then we have the settings and in settings. So this does have a built-in fan, but it allows you to go in here and turn the fan off on, or you can set it to auto. I think my favorite part about the monitors is the ability to pinch to zoom in and be able to check focus after I've started recording. With my camera, once I hit record, there's no punching in, so I just kind of got to rely on my eyes. I also like the size. I think it's the perfect size and weight, especially for being on a gimbal or running gun situations. Um, it's super lightweight. And uh, the touchscreen, the touchscreen just makes navigating through the features and functions uh, really easy. And the brightness, the brightness of the screen is very easy to see even when you're outdoors. Um, so I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. And that's that. Thanks for watching.